Hey guys, I'm Tuan and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got some good info on the level 10 support gun, the Hewitt Automatic Rifle. To start off, I've got a clip where a guy managed to jump completely through a wall and come back around to troll me. One of the stranger clips I've ever seen in Battlefield. So now that that's out of the way, let's take a look at the real steel Hewitt. This is another gun that was only ever a prototype, and it's actually a really interesting build. The Hewitt Automatic was essentially a conversion kit for the Canadian Ross straight pull bolt action rifle. This is why the receiver of the gun moves so far back on the stock, because it retracts the full bolt of an ordinary rifle. This gun was developed in 1916 by Joseph Hewitt, but the war ended before the Canadian Army could ever deploy it. Only four known to ever have actually been produced. The gun fires a full .303 rifle ammunition at a rate of 475 rounds per minute. The magazine holds 25 rounds, but you get an extra one if there's already one in the chamber. So now that that's out of the way, let's take a look at the Hewitt and Battlefield. This is an excellent support gun, but I wouldn't call it the best and there are a few reasons why. The variant that most people are familiar with is a low weight version, but DICE also recently added an optical version. To unlock, to unlock the optical, you need 300 kills with the low weight version and 25 kills with limpet charges. They are both more or less the same, but the optical rifle offers improved accuracy and slightly more controllable recoil. So the first thing that I liked about this gun is that the recoil is extremely manageable. The slower rate of fire makes sure that you can get more shots on target. It also has a nicely sized magazine that can definitely get you through two if not three enemies. The reason that I would say that this gun isn't the best is because guns like the BAR and the MG15 outperform it in damage and rate of fire. Now most LMGs have the same damage of 23, but they all have different damage drop-offs. For instance, the BAR and the MG15 are still relatively efficient because they drop off to 19 and 17.5 damage respectively. The Hewitt drops all the way down to 15, which means you have to spend a lot more time on ranged targets, especially with the rate of fire. Another con is that the headshot multiplier on this gun seems to be a lot smaller than the other guns, and I don't really understand that. I've had a few instances where I get three headshots on an enemy, and it's still not enough to kill them with other shots in the body. And this doesn't make sense to me because this gun fires a .303, which is a full-size rifle round, so I don't understand why it would be smaller than other guns like the Bar, which fires a similarly sized uh, round. So as for tactics with the Hewitt, you want to be in a mid-range setting. You want to be inside 40 meters because this is when the damage drop-off happens and you don't want to lose all the damage potential. And you also don't want to be super close because the slow rate of fire makes it slightly awkward in the CQB. Overall, the Hewitt is a very reliable support gun that can certainly fit into most people's playstyles. The best range for this gun is right in what I would say is the normal engagement distance. However, while I do think this is a really well-balanced gun, I don't think it's the best because of how much damage it loses at range. Alright guys, so that's what I've got for you today. Comment below to let me know if you agree or disagree. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Keep an eye on my channel for more Airsoft and Battlefield content coming soon. With that said, I'm Tuan, thanks for watching my video and enjoy the rest of this gameplay. Yeah. <laughs>